So now I just want to look at some basic navigation items. Note that you could zoom into the screen because we're basically in a web-based format. So usually I can hold down control and scroll up on the scroll wheel and that will zoom into the screen. So currently I'm at the 125% on the zoom in. That's a great tool, but also remember as we work through the practice problem, when you're zooming in and out, it actually changes the format of the screen. You can see the icons up here will change. So that means that if you're looking at a screen that has a different kind of layout than what I'm looking at, the, the most extreme example would be like a phone, for example, then the location of the items will be a little bit different due to the fact that QuickBooks is trying to optimize where icons are depending on how zoomed in to the screen we are. So that's the first thing I just want to keep in mind because I will be zooming in and out of the screen to try to focus in on the current things that we're working on. Also note that when you're doing data input forms, if I hit the plus button, these are where the forms are at. If you were to go into an invoice, for example, and you're, and you're too zoomed into the invoice, sometimes, and QuickBooks is getting way much better at this, but sometimes the data input can get a little bit messed up and it's not, it's not populating properly. So whenever that's the case, you're gonna have to close out the invoice, zoom back out to 100%, and then go back into the invoice and repopulate and that usually fixes the problem that's not as big as an issue because i think quickbooks is getting better and better at being able to zoom into these forms and not have it cause a data input problem but if you run into that issue then just uh, note that you can do that the other thing to note anytime you have a, a web-based type of software is that if you want multiple tabs open at one time then you can open the multiple tabs with the plus button. But what I really want is a multiple tab that's open with the current information in it. So you can duplicate the tab. So to duplicate the tab, we go to the tab up top, right click on it and duplicate it. And that gets us a duplication. Now, once we start getting data into the system, our standard work mode, my standard work mode will be that I'm going to open up. I'm going to go to the business overview on the right my reports which is going to be my balance sheet and my income statement and have those open on the right hand side and then do my data input on the left there's nothing in the balance sheet i'll open one up because we haven't done any data input but as we do data input we'll see the balance sheet be populated and we'll be going back and forth from this tab which is where we'll do the data input most of which will be with the plus button and then as we do that data input we'll see the impact on the tab to the right and I'll open another one up with the, with the income statement or profit and loss, which will see how the balance sheet and income statement are constructed step by step. The balance sheet and income statement being the end result, what we're trying to do from a reporting standpoint as we enter the data. Okay, let's go back to the first tab. So just the layout of the, the way things are going to work here is that the data input is typically going to be done with the plus button these are the typical forms and then we can navigate with these items on the left hand side we can close this hamburger and we can close the hamburger we call it a hamburger here to give us more space to optimize the space and then up top the major thing up top is the cog the cog up top has information for our company information lists these are major like underlying type of things like the chart of accounts and the products and services uh, tools and the profile so these are kind of the foundational things that you need to set up to get your accounts set up right and everything and some of the fundamental things to get the underlying process set up which we can then do the data input on as easily as possible